Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Martina and welcome to a video in which I get to share with you something very, very exciting, something that I have been working on for quite some time. And before I get to it, actually, I just wanted to say this is kind of like a private announcement of sorts that I have just uh, opened a booktube channel or a YouTube channel for my passion of books. This is going to just be like a hobby thing uh, where I post the videos talking about the books that I read and want to read. And if you guys are interested in reading at all or maybe in just hearing a little bit more uh, from me about things that I don't usually talk here. It would mean the world to me if you could follow me. The channel is called Books and Crafts because I am definitely planning to kind of have some videos that maybe blend those two words together where I'm going to be crafting and maybe talking about the books or giving some books recommendations. But I will have it linked in the description box. I have posted my very first video there uh, today, earlier today, and oh, I would love to see you there. I'm, I'm scared with this booktube thing, but I'm also excited about kind of giving space uh, to my, to my other passion that is reading. But back to this video, back to the project that I just can't wait to share with you, and you can obviously already see. So this is a digital kit, the latest digital kit that I created. And what's special about this one is that this is a collaboration between me and my sister Asha. Uh, she is a self-taught watercolor artist. And so I've created a kit, a digital kit, using her paintings, which I digital, digitized, scanned, uh, and then adding some of my own touches so that I could create... Um, something between our two styles and I have wanted to create a kit with her paintings for the longest time but I also wanted to make it shine, make her paintings shine in this kit and I guess I was just waiting for the perfect time for when inspiration just struck and it happened last week. I've been wait, uh, working on this kit for a week and now it's finally done and it's available in my Etsy shop. It's also on sale as are all of my kits. This one is called Stargazer's Journal and you guys if you would like to uh, maybe support my sister. She is a wonderful person and she is such an incredible artist. I am so proud of her and of what she has been able to learn with this difficult craft that is watercolor painting um, by herself. So uh, I am going to have her uh, Instagram handle uh, below and if you would just like to follow her that would mean the world to the both of us. And so let me show you the kit. This is called the Stargazer's Journal and unlike my other kits this is not just a paper pack or add-on. This is like a whole kit in one so you will get 10 pages of papers and also also, I believe nine pages of ephemera um, and yeah let me just show you so again all of the galaxy paintings are actual um, watercolor paintings done by my sister and digitized by me and I added some uh, some bits and pieces from uh, antique astronomy themed books and stuff like that. There will be some graphs, uh, some sky maps. I also added some flowers because, you know, it wouldn't be a kit of mine if there weren't flowers. So I really just wanted to blend our two styles together and I'm so happy with how this turned out. I added some gold sprinkles and this is page number one. Then there is this one and I love this painting that she's done. I love it so much and so uh, there is like it would be a perfect middle page in your journal but there is again some astronomy text on the sides here, some flowers and some gold sprinkles. 
then there is this one and this one was the first one that I did and I just the moment I did this one I knew I had to keep going because I just love how these trees and how the colors kind of correspond with the vintage with with the other side of the page which is much more vintage and with the flowers and all so there is some sky charts here then this one i love this painting it's like clouds and oh this is so so pretty and yeah i'm just so proud of my sister she's such an amazing artist and here is um here is this planet and a little moon and again some astronomy text <laughs> love this one so those were fine fi fine five what i would call main pages which are mostly for decoration however with a white pen like for instance a gel pen you would definitely be able to still write on the paintings um, but you know these could be used just for decoration and then you get also five pages which were designed to be journaled on with lines with space and then of course again the painting uh, on the sides here and the flowers then this one i think this one is upside down i think all of them are so there is this one and i love how these trees turned out and again lines on both sides there is this one hmm. this one with the beautiful planet and this one which just has some spaces in the middle to journal and so like i mentioned this kit comes with some add-ons in kind of like packed all together so with some ephemera pieces so there are three journaling cards like that uh, with lines then here again do i have it upside down sorry guys i think i might have it upside down again so here there is a this one this piece is an envelope so if you just cut it out and fold uh, kind of along those notches you will have a cute envelope and there are two corner tucks with flaps then uh, this is a pocket uh, and then these are just very simple journaling cards and again you could write over these paintings with uh, white gel pen but I wanted to make them simple because they are going to go uh, inside like they are pe perfect size to go inside some photo frames which we will get to in a moment but also this card just would work perfectly size wise with this pocket and so the same thing here a pocket another two cards different sizes then we have three big tags decorated like that and you can cut them apart or leave them like that and maybe do a trifold tag something like this and then i just i could not do these tags with the like the paintings because i just i love those paintings so much and again i wanted to make them shine in this kit so also these are the same size so uh, you can print them double-sided and have the other side of the tags on the other side of these tags and maybe this is what i'm going to be doing today maybe i will just cut them apart and do a nice uh, trifold tag and then this let me first show you the bigger ones these are two victorian inspired photo frames which again have been designed with the same elements the paintings the astronomy text and all of that and so he this lighter element is a uh, frame and so you can cut it out and one of these cards that i showed you guys is going to fit perfectly inside and so here is another one with the small 
elip elliptical uh, frame shape. And then I am also providing them in this smaller size and these cards go perfectly inside those smaller ones so i wanted those to be more simple because there is already going a lot of going on here uh, but that is the stargazer uh, stargazers journal kit so again ephemera and 10 pages all together and i hope you guys like it i love it i'm so happy with how it turned out and my sister also loves it so that makes me so happy and i hope you will enjoy it i am of course now i have no excuses i am going to be making a um stargazer journal collection celestial themed journal collection and we are going to be working on it together here on my channel in some of the videos so again the kit is available in my Etsy shop. It's currently on sale for the whole week and uh, the link is in the description box. And also the uh, Instagram handle to follow my sister if you would like to support her. And also what I also did is I kind of revamped another kit that I used to have in my Etsy shop, but this was my very first ever and i was not happy with some of the things like the formatting i used to do the a4 size paper now everything that i do is on uh, eight and a half by eleven uh, and i also just just changed a few things here and there but this one is called stargazers ephemera and it is i believe 13 pages full of astronomy and celestial themed ephemera for your celestial journal so we have these journaling cards smaller ephemera pieces this one with some telescopes some drawings here some um, different uh, like charts and sketches there is this one so all the different sizes of ephemera all the different types and i used these these are the same pictures that were in the old version i can i kind of just changed the formatting only um, so i i've used um, these images in my previous stargazer collection and i really loved using them they are so they're so versatile you know you can use them as journaling cards pockets tags cards tag spots here are some bigger ones And then also you get some really big ones, so like full page, almost uh, sized, which I personally love to use as journal pages. So I will print them like this, maybe double sided, and I will use them in my journals as pages. And they again come from various different astronomy books. Or if you don't want to use them as pages, but you would prefer to use them as ephemera, then if you just print several per page, you will get just regular, um, regular um, ephemera size. So there is this one. I love this one. And this one, cosmography. <laughs> I love this theme so so much. It's like a contender for my number one favorite theme of junk journals um, and you know it, well it's a runner-up. My favorite is obviously and probably always will be nature and flowers but this is definitely a runner-up. I love celestial themes so much. So I'm super excited about this new project that we are going to be starting and there is this one love the blue oh and that was the last one so two kits stargazers journal with my sister's paintings and this one which is stargazers ephemera with just tons of ephemera for you to play with so okay i think that's all i wanted to mention before um before starting uh or getting to some crafting 
So I think I would like to play with these elements a little bit and I think I'm going to go to the ephemera and I am really tempted to actually do something with those tags. So let me first grab them and some scissors. I'm also just going to take a sip of water. We are again in a um, heat wave, never ending heat wave, it would seem. <laughs> So I'm trying to stay hydrated and I'm going to start with cutting out those. So this would be kind of like my front side of the trifold tag and then I will glue the other ones on the reverse side of these tags and we will see what we can what we can create with them. So I'm sorry you guys that there hasn't been any videos this uh, past week. I I have been busy with this kit and with some other things and then on Monday I just got sick. I think my body just said stop, you need to rest right now and so I pretty much slept all day and um, it's actually quite late in the afternoon. I'm still not feeling super super well <coughs> oh yeah <coughs> excuse me yeah just you know saying <laughs> but um but it's definitely uh, getting better so so i'm very excited to craft with you and to play with these papers So how are you guys? How has everyone been? Are you also in a heat wave right now? I hope you you're staying cool and hydrated. What are some projects that you are currently working on? And would you be interested in joining me on this celestial journal journey? <laughs> So that we can make some some celestial journals together. I've already got some acrylic paints. I ran out of most of my blues, uh, most of my blue colors. So I got some really pretty blue acrylics. Not expensive at all. I usually go for maybe not the cheapest option because with acrylics the really cheap ones are quite thin and not saturated so i would probably have to use much more of them to cover uh, my covers which i'm talking about the acrylic paints that i want to use uh, to paint the covers of those journals. I haven't done a painted journal cover in a while, so I think I'm going to try my hand in painting some galaxies and I'm definitely going to film at least one of those attempts <laughs> for you guys to, to follow along if you would like to. Okay, so let me see. I'm wondering how I want to do it. Of course, it would be so much simpler if I just did it in the beginning. Um, and I mean, if I, if I, I'm sorry, I'm just thinking, uh, if I printed those double-sided, but we just have to go with what we have. So let me grab some double-sided maybe not the thinnest one oh here i have some double-sided tape and i think i'm going to use it like in the middle of those in the middle of those tags oh you know what you guys now i'm thinking so i'll do this but 
now I'm thinking that for this theme, you know how I sometimes like to use jump rings and eyelets to join, like to create flaps. Uh, this is inspired by Maddie at Crafty Law and I think I might do this here too because I think this method would look really really well with this theme. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to cut those apart and I want to clean those edges a little bit. I'm going to cut those apart and I'm going to still create a trifold tag but do it in a slightly different way. Okay. <coughs> So I've just visited my sister this weekend. We went, we went for a visit, me, Darek and Zuzia, and we had a lovely time on Sunday. Um, she lives about an hour and a half drive from where I live in a different city. And um, I got to see her little apartment. She's renting a studio apartment. And my sister really has a gift of like making a place feel like home. So the last time I was there with her, it was when she was looking for an apartment. And sorry, just looking for my glue stick. Oh. And uh, so I'm going to use double-sided tape but also glue stick on top of it just because this allows me a little movement and so I don't have to be so worried you know that I'm not going to get it perfectly maybe I will do the same sort of painting here so I will still be able to move the tags a little bit but yes so yeah she the last time i saw her apartment was on a day when i went with her and we were looking for an apartment that she could rent and it was pretty but it was very like it was like dark furniture and uh, you know not not a lot of character I would say in that place and oh right now it's like it's so artistic there is little touches of you know of her style everywhere so it's it's really lovely and she also lives nearby ish <laughs> to to this wonderful park this huge huge park which we went to and we just had we just had a lovely day with her okay so i i showed her the the digitals and yeah, she, she really liked them and my mom did too, which made me so happy because I really w was trying to, again, to do her paintings justice and to, to make them the star, no pun intended, of, of this project. And actually my sister right now she doesn't paint many galaxies anymore uh, but she paints a lot of landscapes and I am definitely going to be using her paintings again she's fine with it she's happy to uh, to have them digitized and and using the kits we are going to of course be sharing the profits from those kits but I would love to do like a nature themed um, kit with some of her um, beautiful landscapes. 
Okay, so I am only using the adhesive, the adhesive in the middle here because what I would like to do is I would like to stitch around those with my sewing machine and I just don't want my needle to go through through glue or the tape. Okay, just making sure these are all lined up. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause for just a second, go around them with my sewing machine, which will um, kind of close them and um, we will, I will be back in, in just a second. Oh, maybe we could do something like that where I would maybe use, yeah, and then the other side would be be something like this oh yeah i love this idea okay you guys i'm going to be back in just a sec okay i stitched around those and i used a zigzag stitch on one and just to keep it interesting i used a straight stitch on those two and i'm thinking maybe of joining them in this way so that on one side we would have two paintings and one of these decorated and then when we flip it we would have two of those decorated ones and one with the painting and the one with the zigzag stitch would be in the middle yeah i think i think i like it so what i would need is i'm just thinking So I would need um, sorry guys just thinking where is my here my crocodile so I'm going to take my um, my crocodile my my punch and I'm going to make my holes now kind of eyeballing it you know <laughs> so like that and then I am going to take this one and do the holes on this side and I'm going to try to make them aligned with what we have already the where is this one here it is so I'm thinking maybe here okay i hope i i hope i got it right so the idea is that this one is in the middle and these are on these two sides and then like that uh just wait a minute wait a minute so this and this Yes, 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 I did get it right. It's just going to be like that on the other side. Okay, everything, <laughs> everything is all right. So I think maybe I would like, uh, which one uh, would I like to be my cover? Uh, let's see if I fold. Okay, oh, sorry, you guys. This is more complicated doing this, uh, doing it this way, of course, but I'm thinking I would like to maybe make this one my cover or this one, one of these, I suppose. So, uh, okay, let me get my eyelids and my jump rings. I hope I have enough. Um, I should have those bigger ones. And I do. Okay, so jump rings, and then I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eyelets, and I'm going to use just regular ones. Two, four, six, and eight.
And so because one of these sides is going to be my cover, I'm going to start with this side. One and two, and I get my eyelids on, usually on AliExpress or Amazon, but they are much cheaper on AliExpress and they are really good quality. So for this one, I think I'm going to... Okay, first here. And just to again keep it interesting, I think I'm going to do it the other way around on, on this metal tag. Now only uh, when I link them all with those jump rings will we see uh, will we see if if I'm correct with with my kind of way of doing it which I am not sure about Now I might have I might have made a little mistake. I see it now um, because I haven't done this in a while. And usually with doing it this way, it's best to have your eyelids and your holes as close to the to the edge as possible because of course the jump ring uh, isn't that that big and those that I use aren't, aren't super big but we will see we will find another way if it doesn't work the way I the way I hope it will but before I link them I'm going to take my gilding wax and I'm going to go around I think the painting side because the gold is going to look just stunning on those dark dark colors and um, the other side I think I will just ink around with vintage photo yeah look at this you guys how beautifully it just finishes finishes this painting so even doing this is a blending of my style and my sister's style adding my kind of staple gold <laughs> to to her beautiful paintings and this side and I don't know yet what I would like to do with those if I want to maybe add some pockets or just leave it as it is I think a trifold tag like this is just so nice for maybe adding adding little bits of journaling and maybe adding a photo all righty that's that's the truth time <laughs> and we are going to see we are going to see if if those jump rings will work here and and if not, then we will have to figure out something else. Okay, the thing is, can I close it? Sorry, you guys, I just need it a bit, a bit closer to my face. Mm. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay change of plans so if you would like to do it with jump rings then please just um, remember about kind of um, leaving like a very little margin here so that your ring can because now when I put my ring through this it doesn't go outside of this edge so it's it's useless but 
we will do something else. We can still use those eyelids. Okay, the way I had it, like that, the other way around. Okay, this way. So, how about... How about if I use maybe some string? Okay, I have this beautiful gold. And how about if I just take a piece and thread it through here? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. And through here. Like that. And then I make a knot where I kind of want it so that it's not too big and it's not too small I mean the space between those two and so we would have something like that and I quite like it I think it's so pretty and on the inside we would have this which I think looks just so sweet okay so I'm going to take one two more right two more and I'm going to do the same thing with these so first through here then through there and then tying a double knot so I am so excited about this booktube channel. Like I said, it's just going to be like a hobby thing. Uh, whenever I have time, I will film and post it there. And uh, yeah, I've been thinking about it for, for quite some time because I really do love reading and I just want to maybe talk a little bit about the books as well and and find people who also love to read so again if you like to read or if you just would like to maybe listen to me talk about the books a little bit it would mean so much to me if you followed me there because I am a little bit scared that nobody's going to watch those videos and it would be so so nice to see to see some some familiar faces and names in the subscriptions and in the comments i'm planning to like i said to do some crafty videos there but kind of like book related so maybe some bookmarks or a book journal and uh maybe some vlogs so that would be kind of again a little bit more like a private okay now i'm just going to go again probably should have done this before but that's okay i also opened a like a second instagram account kind of again book book related so i will also have it in the description just in case you you would like to follow me there too and of course my crafty instagram if you have an instagram account and uh, and you would like to follow me there i would love 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 to see you there so i will have both of those well all of these things that i just mentioned <laughs> in today's video in the description box and I have to say I love how this turned out I think it might be even cuter than the jump rings because the gold just works so so well with those dark navy colors and, and purples so I think it was like a happy happy accident and I like how flimsy it is and I don't know I just like flimsy isn't usually I suppose a, a positive word <laughs> but I just I, I like it I like how it feels and I can definitely see maybe some pictures here on those pages uh, or on those tags and then maybe some some journaling with white gel pen or something like that in this other one maybe i should actually include 
white gel pens uh, with those journals when I uh, make them and sell them. <laughs> Maybe I will do that if I if I remember. Okay, and so my idea was that this would be kind of like the front. So either this would be our cover or this one. And then we can see the other side, which is the painting. And then of course, when we open this up, we have all of those different sides and I love how they work together and I think I am just going to leave it like that. So I think that's it. Maybe let me show you guys um, in a bit more detail while I talk. So thank you so much for crafting with me today. I will leave all of the things that I talked about, all of the links in the description box. I um, I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of a shorter crafting with me video today just because I'm still getting over this this cold or whatever it is. I feel a little bit a little bit weak to be honest but I definitely wanted to do even a little bit um, a little bit of crafting so thank you so much you guys do check these kits in the description box in my etsy shop and um, i will speak to you guys very very soon in the next video bye